Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very big news when it comes to the Switch Pro. I'm sure you guys have maybe been kind of following up with the rumors because we've actually made a few videos here and there about the Switch Pro. But there is a lot of very intriguing information that's kind of coming on out. And we do believe we actually have a very, very good rough, like maybe one or two month period of when the Switch Pro is going to be coming on out, as well as just a lot of information kind of coming on in. So we pretty much have a lot of confirmed stuff, a lot of information floating around from E3, and a lot of leaks, and just a lot of things kind of floating around in general. So I want to go and take back and just have a few moments to go and talk about this, because I'm extremely, extremely excited for the Switch Pro, or whatever they want to go end up calling it, and I'm sure we're going to probably be hearing a lot more news when it comes to E3 throughout these next two or three weeks. So we have a lot of good stuff floating around, a lot of cool announcements, so let's go and, I guess, go and talk about it. As well, when you guys are brand new, we actually do do a lot of PS5 restock stuff. I probably will be doing a lot of Switch Pro stuff whenever that actually comes on out as well, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We're also going out of PS5, so make sure you guys are subbed for that. And of course, we have the Twitter and Twitch stream a link down below bonus entries for the ps5 if you guys want to go and join that with the link tree link down below and of course the twitter and twitch stream if you guys want to follow and weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 and you guys go get like 25 dollars for free and coinbase if you guys go buy 100 hours worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin like the video and all that good stuff and definitely comment down below your thoughts if you guys think you guys are going to go get a switch pro yourselves so as of last night, we actually saw a lot of major crazy things kind of floating around. We even saw the Switch Pro trending all of last night. So I kind of want to go and talk about all these details and what's kind of floating around when it comes to this. So I'll start off with the IGN over here and kind of well, there's a little lot of stuff that we've already researched. I'll try to go and throw that in this video too as well in case you guys have missed it. But as of all this time, basically we are now seeing that the new Nintendo Switch will be reportedly be released as soon as September. Now, I do, like, when it's pretty much confirmed, like, we have a really good rough, like, two or three month period that most people, like, everyone, IGN, Bloomberg, all these really big news articles are stating. So, if anything, if I have, like, more of, like, a confirmed dates or whatever that, don't buy me too much because the Morris was based on whatever else is the same. But we have a lot of Im information with this. So, production is actually going to be beginning in July with a planned release date falling in September or October of this year. Or the Switch Pro, or whatever they want to go and call it. So Nintendo is allegedly planning to begin assembly of a new upgraded Switch as soon as July, so just two months from now, with a planned release date in September or October of this year. As reported by Bloomberg, this new console will likely be priced higher than the current $299 Switch model, and the official announcement may happen prior to E3 to allow publishers to showcase their full range of Switch games at the global event. So, kind of uh, kind of quick little thoughts on this. We basically have seen lots of leaks when it comes to uh, like contracts with really big companies, such as people making brand new screens for the Switch itself. We're seeing that the Switch itself is also being discontinued, which is also another major, major verification for the Switch Pro. We're also seeing brand new internals, so better like processing and GPUs, which is going to be very, very good news because we do know there's a lot of major games such as like Pokemon and such coming on out. New Breath of the Wild, which is you know, being planned on too as well, but mainly new Pokemon, I think, is the bigger one that most people are looking forward to, at least in terms of like very soon. We just we haven't seen too much Breath of the Wild news. Hopefully for during E3, we will. So we have all these internals that are kind of floating around and also like these semiconductor actual contracts. Pretty much everything is like 95% confirmed, and we just know it's coming very, very soon. We're just not 100% for sure on the dates, but it seems like with all the information and all the leaks and all the contracts, we pretty much have this pretty much two-month period down. So it's pretty much confirmed. It's like very, very confirmed when it comes to this. So this new Switch, which may have uh, many have come to call the Switch Pro, which is actually funny enough, not the confirmed, uh, like it's not 100% confirmed. We've been hearing rumors on other date, like other names as well will also be still being sold around the $199 Nintendo Switch Lite that would eventually replace the current standard model. So they basically want to get rid of the current model right now for the Switch and put it towards the Switch Pro as like the new baseline and then the Switch Lite just for maybe a casual one, maybe for kids or parents who just want to have a cheaper option. As well as we've reported on too as well, we do actually go and see that the Switch is said to be featuring a 7-inch Samsung display, which is basically also confirming it from all the contract leaks, because they've apparently been already being like contracted and also in the process of being made, I believe, too, as well. Which is also very nice, because that also means a nicer screen for one of you're actually holding your console itself. And we do know that the Switch is more of a handheld console, meant to travel around or do whatever. So it's very nice to go and see a higher definition one. But I believe as well, it's also better for the battery life, too, as well. 
where the battery itself should be able to last longer and also look nicer. And on top of that, too, we also did go and see NVIDIA graphic silicones, which basically just means a better GPU and better internals as well. Same with CPUs and such, basically to make the whole console itself run better, one more efficient, and also maybe have a chance to go bump up the quality for future games coming on out, you know, because that's always been a big critique for me is that the Switch itself is a little bit more on a lackluster in terms of resolution, of resolution, frame rate, and the graphics quality capabilities. And I feel like a lot of games are kind of slacking when it comes to that. And one of the more bigger things too, is now 4K resolution that could be possible when you're dot on your Nintendo Switch. Very, very big news for that. And that's definitely one of the more major things that I'm extremely hyped up for. Because also imagine how good a game like an open world Pokemon or Breath of the Wild could be on a 4K system, on a 4K TV. That is just what dreams are made of. I'm very hyped up for that. And as well, there apparently might be a higher price point, which would also make sense too as well when it comes to competing with the PS5 or Xbox, because don't forget a lot of those are $500 as their baseline models. So as long as it's under that $500 range, I'd maybe guess maybe like $350 or $400. Realistically, knowing them, they could probably round on up and get that $399 number. That's what I'd probably assume. Then it's okay with me. So basically because of that, they want to go have a higher price, mainly due to the fact that there's pricier components. So better screens better internals better like just things they have to go and spend extra money on which i'm personally okay with i'd rather have a slightly better quality product and pay slightly more than have to pay less and also there's always a switch light version if people wanted to you guys give me your thoughts down below and as well too it also kind of factors into as well with the actual pandemic and i'm sure that might also raise up the prices and i'm sure people are used to that same price point for a year they kind of get used to it and they deal with it that's fine like i mean people are paying a lot of money for gpus and consoles anyway and of course, as well, the new price is not currently unknown, like it's not 100% confirmed as of now. As I mentioned, I think a lot of really big rumors around the $349 mark and the $399. I'd almost want to say maybe $349, although it seems like a weird number. Wouldn't make sense because if you're also comparing this to maybe say an Xbox Series S or an also compared to a PlayStation Digital, probably more to the PlayStation Digital, you don't want necessarily want to have a very big difference and a $350, $349 one would actually make a lot of sense. So we actually are also seeing that too as well. The prices might be slightly different. And the one major more last thing for us to be on the note for, despite the ongoing semiconductor chip shortages, suppliers are confident that they can actually fulfill Nintendo's orders as the parts Nintendo are using are different than those used by such systems as the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Which is always very nice too as well because they're basically, because it's like slightly less in-depth and hardcore technology for the rumored switch pro they basically don't have to like they're not like the most expensive the most in-depth and the most sought after actual semiconductors and parts inside it so it does have a little bit more wigger wiggle wiggle it's so hard to say wiggle room so it's hard to say when it comes to that when it comes to actually getting the consoles themselves made because if it's not the most like if it's maybe like three or four year old outdated parts just for layman's terms it does make everything a little bit easier for everything to go and make. So I do actually believe that Nintendo is going to be making some very, very nice stuff kind of pop on off. I'm very, very excited for this too as well. And I do think this Switch Pro has a lot of good potential. And I love the fact that we have the pretty much rough range of when this is going to be released. As we mentioned earlier before, maybe September or October. And we'll probably go and see even more information with E3 happening soon. If for some other reason you guys don't know anything about E3, E3 is basically just where all the games, like that, like the Summer Saga, you have all the PlayStation announcements, you have all the Xbox announcements, just, you know, Sony's not at E3, but they're going to be doing their own press conference. And there's a lot of, basically, a lot of gaming news to prep up for the holiday season, as well for the rest of the year. So, we should be getting a lot more good news. It might be a little bit before E3, it might be a little bit after, but all this Nintendo Switch rumors and leaks are making me so excited, because I can't wait to go and play all these next-gen games on my Switch Pro, whenever it does fully come on out. Now, the one major thing is I just hope that the Switch Pro is not going to be as hard as it is to go and find how it has been over here for the PS5 and Xbox. So I guess we'll have to go and see how that all plays on out. But I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Definitely make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys care about the Switch and Switch Pro and all that stuff. As well, like the video, comment down below your thoughts on this too as well. And of course, I would love to have you guys up on the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. Subscribe for the PS5 giveaway and get your bonus entries with the link trees. And as well, sign up for Weeble, deposit $100 and you guys will get free stock and free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy 100 hours worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys all later on throughout today for some more good old videos.